Hey, this is Joe from SoFly, and in this video, we are going to export WooCommerce orders to CSV using WP All Export. So to get started, we'll go down here to New Export, and then we'll select WooCommerce orders from the dropdown. There's some filtering options here if you wanted to export a subset of these orders, but we have 5,755 orders, and we're just going to export all of them. So we'll click Customize Export File. And then over here, this is where we build our export, our CSV export. So we can click the preview button. This is what we have right now by default. We can drag and drop to rearrange these. We can click in, change our column name. We can go over here to add field and we can add a search for a field to add over here. For example, something related to the product, like the product name, save that. And now let's preview. And there we go. So we have our product name over here, order title, but let's get rid of these fields. So to do that, we'll drag this out of the box and now they're gone, right? Preview again, and there we go. Now you'll notice here that we have two rows for the same order and that's because this person ordered two different products. So down here in advanced options, we can change that. So display each product in its own row. If we disable that, then each row is just gonna have one order and we have two columns for all of the product data. If we had three products, there'd be a third column. Now we have a bunch of other order data over here that we can drag in. So here's all of our customer data, like first name and last name. And then we have our billing address. So what we can do is we can combine all of this address information. So we'll go down here to add field, and then we'll select custom export field. And all we have to do is drag in all of the information that we want. So billing address, billing city, billing postcode, bill, billing state, Right, and then what we can do is we can put commas in here. Comma space. And actually the postcode is supposed to go after the zip. So let me grab that. And we'll put that over here. And we'll call this address. Now let's preview that. And there we go, there's our address. So we have our information over here. Let's see what else we have over here. We have our, just our general order information. So we can put the order total. We can move the product name over here. So we have our customer information and our product information. There's a lot more customer information. This is all of your item info, the items that the person ordered product data, all sorts of stuff. We have some other videos that go pretty in depth into all of these, like the attributes and advanced fields. Check the description below. We have a link to that video. We're just giving a quick overview here. You have your refund information, custom fields, other just kind of like random order information that you can export if you need to. But that's pretty much it for us. So down here, this is where you can select your export type. I'm just going to leave it at CSV file. You also have Excel files you can export, XML files, etc. Again, check the description below. We have a lot of links to Again, check the description below. We have links to other videos and all of this. We're just exporting our CSV here and we'll continue. And then up here, we have our scheduling options. So if we wanted to, we could set this up to run in the schedule every week or every month. And then whenever the time would come, for example, every Monday at midnight, this export's going to run and it's going to do whatever we want it to do. Check the description below. We have some links to videos on scheduling and other videos on how you can link WPL export with Zapier. So every time your export runs, it does stuff like send emails, put the data in Google Sheets and Dropbox, etc. Pretty powerful stuff. And then over here, we have some sort of advanced options. You can export each WooCommerce order in real time as they're completed. So for example, every time you export a WooCommerce order, it would send that data to Zapier. Then you can Zapier send an email. So every time you have an order, an email is sent. Pretty cool stuff. Again, we have videos on this, videos on exporting orders only once. So every time you run this export, it only exports the new orders that were added since the last time it ran. And then finally, we down here, we have a client mode. So this allows you to let non-admins access WPL import, a limited lockdown version of it, and then simply run exports. They can't create or edit exports, but they can run exports where you select allowed non-admins to run this export in client mode.
Again, we have a video on that down below. Check it out if you're interested. But for us, we're just going to run this pretty simple CSV export and get going. This will take a few minutes. We have about 5,000 orders. We'll let it run and we will come back when it's finished. Okay, the export is complete. So let's go ahead and click our CSV download button over here. Open that up and take a look. There we go. There is our CSV export. All of our data is there. Close that. And this is our export complete page. So we have a few options here, like our secure URL, scheduling, external apps. This explains how to use Zapier. And then our export edit import function over here. Um, again, we have a bunch of videos on all of this. Check out our channel. Take a look if any of this is interesting for you, if you want to learn more. Thanks for watching, and we will see you soon.